Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to install Ratchet library under this RPHP MySQL chat application using WebSocket. In previous part, we have seen how user can log out from this chat application and after log out from system, how that user login status has been changed. Now we have come on the main part of this chat application tutorial series and under this part we will see how can install this ratchet websockets library under this rphp chat application so first we have go to command prompt and then after we have go to our chat application working directory Now we have write command like composer require c boden slash ratchet 0.4 and then after we have run this command it will download ratchet library under this vendor folder and then after it will update autoload.php file. It will take some time for download once download has been completed and ratchet library install in our chat application. Then after we will go to our chat application working folder. So here we can see Ratchet WebSocket library download completed. Now we have go to chat application working folder and here in vendor folder we can see Ratchet WebSocket library has been installed. Next we have go to socketo.me which is official site of this Ratchet PHP WebSocket library. Under this website, we can see this chat application installation process. So first we have click on this Hello World link. So, first we need to define my app names in composer.json file. So we have copy this code from this web page. And we have go to chat application working folder and open composer.json file. And under this file, we have paste this code. After this code, we want to update this composer.json file by using composer. So we have save it. And go to command prompt and write composer update command and run this command. So it will update required packages and regenerate a composer.log file this is required step otherwise you will get error next we have go to hello world web page and here we want to create chat.php file under this source folder which we can see here so we have go to our working directory and here in source directory we have already create chat.php file. So, we have go to web page, and here we can see complete source code of chat.php class source code. So we have copied this code. And go to our working directory, chat.php file, and here paste this code. So here are we can see chat.php class source code. Here header of this chat.php class, we can see my app namespace, which we have defined in composer.json file. Under this class, we can see four method like on open, on message, on close and on error method. Here on method will be called, when a new client has connected. Next on message method will be called, when a new message is received by connection. This on close method will be called, when connection has been closed. And on error method will be called, when an error occurs on a connection. Now we have again go to hello world web page. Here we can see chat class will be our application logic. But next we want to make shell script which will be called from command line, and launch our application. 
So here we can see server.php file, which we want to create under this bin folder, but we have already make server.php file, under this bin folder. So at the footer of web page, we can see complete server.php file code, so we have copy this code. and go to chat application working folder and here we have paste this code here we can see our chat application class has been used so from this script it will initiate chat class this script will start chat server with 8080 port and this run method will start server for chat application so here we have installed most of the part of Ratchet library, now we have again go hello world web page, and at lastly, we can see this javascript code, this code will make websocket connection. So we have copy this code, and go to chat application working folder, and open chatroom.php, under this file all user will chat with each other. So in jQuery code part, we have pasted this code, so here process of installing Ratchet WebSocket library under this chat application, now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see login page, so friend here first we have enter login details. After fill login details. Here we have click on login button, and after click on login button, here page has been redirect to chatroom.php file. Now we want to see console data, so here we have right click, and go to console tab. Here we can see connection error, this for we have not started chat server. So for this, we have go to command prompt, and here we have write php space, bin folder name slash server dot php file, and run this command. After run this command, here we can see server started message, that means our chat server has been started. Now, we have go to chatroom.php web page, and here we have refreshed this page. After refreshing of web page, here in console tab, we can see message like connection established, that means this user connected with this chat server, and now this user can send and received chat message. So friends, in this video part, we have learned, how to install Ratchet library from scratch, and then after we have seen how to start Ratchet WebSocket chat server, for send and receive chat message, and in next part, we will make chat room for send chat and receive chat message. So here we have stopped this video, and we will be meet in next video, and lastly thank you for watching this video.